Knowing the concept of perimeter and understanding that perimeter itself defines the clean, dirty line around the farm is essential to practice and maintain biosecurity. The pathogens that can affect pigs are viruses, bacteria, parasites, and fungi. These agents can be present in objects, equipment, animals, and people. Pathogen transmissions can occur via both direct and indirect routes. The direct route occurs through contact between infected and susceptible pigs. Therefore, it's essential to understand the health status of the source farm before replacement introduction, in addition to complying with an appropriate quarantine process. The indirect route occurs when people, vehicles, objects, equipment, and other animals such as birds, insects, and rodents get contaminated from an infected pig and come in contact with pigs within the farm, introducing a new agent. Also, for this reason, it's important that the production unit has physical barriers that clearly differentiate the clean, intermediate, and dirty areas, as well as the processes for the movement of animals, people, and vehicles. To restrict access to the production unit, a barrier must be placed to obstruct access to the site from roads that connect directly to the public roads. The barrier must obstruct driveway access when the farm is unattended. In addition, all exterior doors must have clear no entry, no re-entry signs and must be kept locked to prevent access from the outside. The clean area contained within the perimeter includes the barns, connecting hallways, and all areas and equipment in contact with the pigs. The perimeter barrier avoids contact between the resident swine and other livestock, wild animals, or people. The showers, the decontamination room or chamber, a section of the loadout chute, and the mortality extraction points represent the intermediate. This is a space for the decontamination of supplies or equipment that will enter the farm, as well as a transition zone for people and animals between the clean and dirty areas. Everything outside of the demarcated perimeter is considered the dirty area. That includes the quarantine, where replacement animals are received, observed, and tested before introduction. Therefore, the clean, dirty line defining these areas must be clearly demarcated, obvious, easy to follow during farm routines, logically designed to avoid cross-traffic, and rigorously respected. In addition, to protect the integrity of the clean, dirty line, the farm must follow unidirectional flow for mortality removal from the farm. Keep feed bin pads clean at all times and promptly remove any feed spills to avoid attracting other animals. Additionally, to minimize the risk of disease introduction into the farm via replacement animals, a quarantine protocol under veterinary supervision must be implemented. The location of the quarantine facility should be isolated from other production units, but separated from the main facilities where the pigs will be introduced. The animals that arrive to the quarantine are under observation for a minimum of 30 days, and a surveillance protocol must be designed to rule out diseases of interest, depending on diagnostic results and clinical evaluation. The animals will be authorized to enter the main herd, or will be eliminated to protect the farm. It's important to highlight that workers, equipment, and supplies are exclusive of the quarantine and cannot be transferred to other farms. The biosecurity of the production unit is everyone's responsibility. Understanding, respecting, and rigorously executing each of these procedures minimizes the risks of affecting health and animal well-being. Please comply with these good practices.
Thank you.